Jesus' disciples went into the city to prepare the Passover meal. When the meal was ready, Jesus and his disciples reclined at the table. Jesus knew his time on earth was almost over and he would soon return to the Father in heaven. Jesus got up from the table, laid aside his outer robe, and wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began washing his disciples' feet. In Bible times, a servant would wash someone's feet when he entered a house. Jesus, the King of Kings, was doing what a servant would do. Peter did not want Jesus to wash his feet. He will never wash my feet ever, Peter said. Jesus replied, if I don't wash you, you have no part with me. Peter said, Lord, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus told Peter, the one who is bathed only needs to wash his feet because he is already clean. Jesus wasn't talking about physical cleanliness. He was talking about someone who has been forgiven of his sins by repenting and trusting in Jesus. A Christian should repent when he sins, but he only needs to receive salvation once. When Jesus had washed his disciples' feet and put on his robe, he reclined at the table and said, Do you understand what I have done? You call me teacher and Lord. I have given you an example to follow. You should wash one another's feet. Jesus was telling the disciples to serve one another. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples. Jesus said, Take it and eat it. This is my body. Then he took a cup and gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples and said, All of you drink from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. After the supper, Jesus and his disciples sang psalms and went to the Mount of Olives. At the Passover, Jesus shared his last meal with the disciples before his death and resurrection. Jesus said that his death would establish a new covenant. God's people had broken the old covenant, and God promised to make a new covenant to forgive sins. God forgives the sins of those who trust in his son, Jesus.